morning. Today is a big day in my book. Um, the painter is on her way and we are going to be painting the, the house. house. The whole house. I love having a new yeah. house. <laughs> I'm excited because I've never had a place where we picked the paint color and it was like freshly painted before we like moved in. Um, so this will be fun. This is really, really, really exciting. Um, so I'm gonna get the house a little paint ready so that way uh, she can come in here and start working. And then um, I'm thinking I'm gonna have her start at the back half of the house um, in the bedrooms and work away this way so I can work in the kitchen and laundry room today because I need to finish in there. Um, and then I want to show you what I did in the kitchen a little yeah. later. Day three update, all of the boxes are unloaded. She's pretty much unpacked the kitchen. Pretty much, all it's of, done. All of the boxes are in the rooms that they have to actually end up in for unpacking. Yeah. I'd say we're doing pretty well. Yeah. They're painting the whole house today. We're like on our way. Once the house is done painting, I'm gonna unload <laughs> everything and we're gonna be moved in by this weekend. We'll see. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I love it. All right, good morning. Did, Did you hear our washer still sings the same? It haunts us. Oh, no way. Oh, we were one off. There it is. I literally cannot even tell you guys how excited I am to have fresh paint in the house. Like, I know that's so silly, but I was going to try to do it myself. First of all, I've never painted a house before, so that would have been rough. I probably could have figured it out, but I really just wanted to have it done right once and before we move in and get everything here because it'll never be this empty again. So we took that opportunity just to get it done. So I'm going to take down all the shelves, just take them off so that way it's easier for her and anything I can do to make her life easier and move faster means our house gets painted faster. <laughs> so that never mind. Those are in. Okay, those are gone. Cool, that's the shelves. So I help me remove a few things. We'll be good. So Sawyer's helping me prep for the painters. This was left. This old train track. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It was left here. I think it was actually from the original house. They kept it because it was a kid's room. But no more on whatever that is. <laughs> no more. No more I just went in there to answer a few questions regarding the color on the ceiling. And it already looks so much better, so much brighter, and so much more us. I'm so excited. They've already pretty much finished the master bedroom painting, which is crazy. They're moving so fast, so, and it already looks so good. Um, I'm going to continue decorating the kitchen. Everything's pretty much put away. That I finished last night. Now I'm going to take a second and just kind of decorate, put the KitchenAid and just kind of like set a few things. I know there's more kitchen decor in some of the decor boxes, so I'm gonna do the best I can, but just kind of place things and make it look presentable. But yeah, this back corner, the KitchenAid and like salt and pepper, some of those. Eventually I'm going to add shelves and things like floating shelves up there, which will look really nice. But let's go ahead and mess around with this and yeah. Guys, look how cool. We have a pot filler. So it's not perfect, but at least it looks like it's set. I definitely can tell I'm missing a few pieces that I normally decorate with. So once I find those, I will add to like, I think I have a bigger like tray or like a little cheese board that I put things on. I have a coffee book stand, 
coffee book. Oh well, I have a cookbook stand and more cookbooks. So once those are located, I will redo this, but it's fine. Um, also from Amazon, I ordered these really cute long wooden spoons. They're called tasting spoons, but they come in like four different finishes. So I thought it'd be cute to add to my little wood um, utensil container. And I just think they're so cute because they're so long and I don't know, thought they were fun and different. So I am sure I will be linking a bunch of new things that I find down below. So if anything is new, they'll be linked down there for you. Okay, let's add these to the bowl. Thank you. Now I'm so excited. I found this really cool fruit bowl at Home Goods in Utah, and I was absolutely obsessed, and I was hoping it would work well with this kitchen, and it could not work better. It matches perfectly. <laughs> the backsplash is like the same type of like terracotta subway tile, if you will. So it looks very French country, and this is exactly that. So I think this will look very pretty in the center of this island with fruit in it. So now we just gotta go to the grocery and actually buy some food for this house. <laughs> Sawyer and his mom just got over here, uh, so I had a fun little thing this Job, morning. Yeah. yeah, a little meeting. A little... Good little hometown company that I really respect. Yeah, so we're excited about that, we'll <laughs> in see. case you're wondering. <laughs> um, but I wanted to kind of give them a little tour because they haven't seen what I did with the I haven't pancakes. seen it either. Um, so where do you want me to start? Uh, I don't know. This yeah. is also a tour so you know where everything is kind of. All right. <laughs> this top drawer. Oh, top drawer, nice. Right? Walk okay. space. Under here we have small appliances. Right. All the awkward thingies. Like it. There's nothing there. Maple. Come here. Maple. Come on, Maple. Kitchen tour. Hi. Kitchen tour. Get your toy. Get it. Here, carry it around. And then up here, we did all of the oh, larger nice. kitchen appliances, things we don't My use for often. My fondue pot. Your fondue pot. And here we have the kitchen, or the kitchen. Snacks. <laughs> the pantry. Uh, we need to go shopping. Yep, but yep. snacks, I like it. But snacks, we do have more room there. Did you notice that? Yeah. And you'll be able to actually see things. I know, I know. It's nice. We're very excited. Okay, then up here, we have. That's awesome. And you know what I know the best part? What? It's the same exact layout as what we had before. I literally plopped it in. Yeah, I just like it matches too. It looks great. Yeah, but now you'll know where everything is because nothing's changed. Cool. <laughs> and then, um, still gonna nice. look on this, but we have plates and bowls. Like it. And like platters and larger items. Like it. Over here, you have utensil. Um, these are utensils, yep. right? Kind of, yeah. What are the. Tools. Uh, yeah. Tools we don't use very often. Those things, gadgets. Down here you have pans. Got it. Um, then we have pots and pans, like for. Got it. Down here we have large items and like accessories. Okay. That makes sense. Measuring Man. cups and mitts. You really did this great. And then down here we have like cookie sheets and Got cutting it. boards. Okay. And then this is everything we use very frequently. And these are the same things in both the drawers that we used to have. So if you're looking for something, it's in the same spot. Got it. Okay. Uh, trash bins. Got you it. You know that? Cleaning cabinet. Uh, this is the sink utility um, accessory cabinet spot. Attachments. Attachments. You have water bottles over there, like all of our reusables. I think these are gonna be. Cups, glasses. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure this out a little better, but so far, because that is a hazard. Yeah, it looks good though. It does look good. And then up here, we have large platters and bowls that don't fit. So this is all the like decorative stuff. You love this, don't you? Oh, I love this. Yeah. This is uh, where you'll find anything utility. Okay. Baggies, extras. And then this is and the coffee, coffee area. corner? Yeah. By the way, we're getting a new Nespresso. Okay. It was moldy and gross. No go. No go. Um, teas and accessories, little stuff for. Tea bags. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then um, coffee pot and back stock of Nespresso pots. Cool. Not done. Oh. Cheese boards. This place is huge. I know. Actually, when you, I just got to get it functioning more so, but um, towels. This is going to be Tupperware, and I'm going to have you help me drill holes because there's no holes on one side of the got cabinet. Got it. So I can add that. 
And then this actually can go up there with the platter. But that, my friend, is your uh, kitchen. I love it. Yeah. I gotta find all the decor. I love it. Good. All right. And uh, then I think last thing is we're taking all of the brick to the ceiling. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Well, right? I haven't Okay, this is what my plan, now that you saw the kitchen, <laughs> my plan for the kitchen that we really want to do, yes, Sawyer just said, we'll take this French country, excuse me. At least she's not chewing on anything. It's true. We're going to take the French country subway tile all the way to the ceiling on these three walls, and then I'm going to eventually switch this out to a nice, like, black or nice wood hood, like something really pretty, and then we're going to add floating shelves so I can do decor and cookbooks. Cool. And then floating shelves over by the coffee for mugs. I think and it's cute. This is to fill up pots. Yeah. I did not know that. Oh, you know what I want to find? And I think I found it at a different store the other day. The one when I couldn't go in, it was closed. But like, you know those big oversized cheese boards that yeah. look like really old? I want one right there. Okay. That's that. All right, let's go shopping and take Maple to the vet for her shots. All right, we just got home from running errands, so we're gonna see how far they got. That's way better. Mm. Against the gray, because it was all one. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. That looks pretty in here. Oh my gosh, it feels bigger in here. Yeah. Oh, the bathroom looks pretty. Yeah, this looks nice. So I just got back from running errands with Sawyer and his mom. We took Maple to get her shots. I think she's 14-ish weeks now, which is just crazy. Um, she's getting so big, but I love her so much. I'm so happy that happened. And then we went to a furniture store and we grabbed lunch and then went to an antique vintage like mall. There were so many booths of just antiques and knickknacks and it's a little overwhelming, but I may have found a coffee table, which is good. I made Sawyer drop me off at home. I am going to power through the laundry room area because that was on my to-do list and I want to get it done. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, he's gonna come back for me in like two hours. <laughs> so that's the game plan. We're gonna tackle the laundry room and get this functioning because that'll make life feel easier. And also guys, I don't know if you remember, you can't really see it from this angle, but I brought with me my sideboard um, that normally goes in like the dining room. I had it in my kitchen. It was kind of like my catch-all, you guys remember? It really held a lot of like good storage. I actually put it in here and I think it might actually work. We'll see, I hope so because it's great storage and it's like an extra table for like laundry. So I wanna get this emptied and functioning for the purpose of here and we'll see if it stays, but I think it'll work here. I kind of hope like it really works because it's great storage. And that's where all the dog stuff went in the old house and I hope it <laughs> works that it's like that here because I'm used to it. Um, yeah, let's get this laundry room going. First of all, I am so excited to have a laundry room. Like you guys have no idea. Just like the fact that there's storage in here and like a sink and like a spot to fold laundry is, I'm over the moon. <laughs> uh, but with that being said, these are the original cabinets that came at the home like back in the 70s and the original sink, which is just crazy. So I do have plans like in the future to make it more modern for like my style. So what I might do, this is like future planning as I'm brainstorming here, um, but I love this stuff. I want to fresh up the cabinets, so do new cabinets and raise them. And so that way I have more room on the counters to like do my jar of Tide and that whole situation. So a little bit more display is also, and also more room. And then um, I want to do a different sink as cool as the vintage one is. We'll see like how I function in this situation. But what I'm thinking is to make this more of like an actual counter with the sink in it. And because it'll be a little higher, I'll have more storage underneath, have more of a cabinet. Um, but we'll see. This is cool that it is like literally almost a vintage sink at this point. But the cabinets definitely do need to be freshened up and changed. But um, I have cabinets and that's, <laughs> that is a great start. So um, yeah, I'm gonna move this box down so I have more counter space to organize and pull things out. We'll open up these cabinets and start filling it.
system yet obviously but things are starting to find a home and I know once I start using the space I'll be like oh my gosh that's annoying over here I need it over here so I just need to like find my bins I think I have a few that'll work here if not I'll go get some so it's better organized but it's up there it's organized and I can function now and now this counter is clean um, yeah so in a second we'll flip around and organize this sideboard and my laundry room will be functioning very excited like you have no idea <sighs> the laundry room I'm so excited so what's awesome about this piece being right here is a lot of the functions that it had in our last house will actually stay the same like we use this drawer for keys and I would put my purse on this hook and this is the dog cabinet and it's like all of Sawyer's, um, he has a drawer that I keep like his wallet, keys, and sunglasses. So when he leaves the house, it's all right there. So all that will pretty much stay the same, which is nice because we already know how to function out of this. But when we traveled or when we moved, I had stored all of my beauty bins, like all of my makeup bins in the bottom of this. So it's gonna take me a second, but I want to unload those and put them in an area where I need to unpack. Um, so that way I can actually organize this stuff off of here. But yeah, give me a minute because this will, this will be something. So I used to store a ton of things in this sideboard, like everything that you pretty much saw up on that right hand side of the cabinet, the laundry room, like that utility box and um, sewing kit. So I'll end up having a lot more room in here, which is good, but I think it'll honestly be taken over by dog stuff because now we have a golden retriever and her food bin will be a little bigger. Um, so that being said, I am going to make a spot for their bowls and water and start organizing the dog stuff and go from there. I need to find my bins. I'm hoping I brought a lot of them. I don't remember, but there's not a box that says bins which would be convenient right now. So I'm just gonna get things in there and we'll reorganize later once I find all my stuff. So Sawyer so just got here. Um, we're probably gonna head home here in a minute, but I think I have the laundry room functioning. It is not perfect by any means, but I'm just starting to find homes for things and then obviously I'll organize as I figure it out, but this is cleared off. This is cleared off. I know it's in here. I know it's up there. We're off to a great start, people. Day two of unpacking is going great. Painting should be done tomorrow, fingers crossed, if not Wednesday. Um, and then we can start really unpacking and decorating. And just like that, Pods is here to come pick up the pod. Good morning. So we have a paint update for you. <laughs> um, last night we were looking at the paint for a second, kind of looked a little more gray, a little more blue. We were so confused. Um, it was just the lighting actually. But when the painter got here today, her name's Meg, um, I asked her, I was like, question, is this different than the trim? Like we were staring at it, trying to figure it out. And she goes, yes. I'm like, oh, that's news. Um, so apparently whatever color they used on the trim, we thought it was alabaster. It still may be alabaster, but it does look different than the wall color. So with that being said, we decided to make a change for the main areas. So all the bedrooms are alabaster because it's a hair warmer and cozier. So that does work, but I didn't want that as much for the main areas, especially being that I'm going to have to paint or repaint the trim anyway, because they need to be touched up. So if I'm gonna do that and repaint the trim, I'm gonna do the color that I want. So that being said, we switched from alabaster in the main area to snowbound. It's a lot brighter. It actually complements the cabinetry a lot better as well. So my point to all this is we switched the paint a 
color on the painter, which she actually suggests that it would look better out here as well. Um, so I'm really excited, it'll be brighter and I think it'll look really, really nice. So that's the paint update. They are going to the paint store right now to go grab that new color. And she also suggested the trim color to do like, I think it was called extra white, which I guess is like a very classic and um, go-to color for trim. Paint has been adjusted. That is the story behind it. Snowbound is our main house color. I think it'll look really, really nice. It'll just really brighten up the place can't wait for you guys to see it. I can't wait to see it. It's funny because the gray takes on a green. Yeah. That's a, the gray does take on a green. Look at it right there. It definitely yeah. looks. Is that yeah. from the grass too? Well, it's just the color of light yeah, that comes out. All of the light colors. All right. The first coat is in the living room. Oh, so good, it's so fresh. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, that looks good, guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. Looks good. All right, so our house has been completely painted, which is crazy. That was such it what, like a three-day process? Yeah, at but least it's still not done. It's not? Oh, oh, yeah, we have your man cave. And I think they have one more coat on the ship yeah. lap right back here. But we're ready to put in our TV. Yeah, our first piece of furniture arrived. It's right behind that. So we're going to get the TV set up. So that way tomorrow will be the first night that we stay here. And our bed gets set up tomorrow. So we'll be ready to go. If you got a TV and you got a bed, <laughs> you're set. You're headed in the right Life's direction. <laughs> Just so you guys know, the vibe that I'm kind of going for for this interior, I think I've mentioned it, but more of that modern, traditional style mixed with a touch of coastal because we are in Florida, but um, also kind of touching into that like French country, like our kitchen kind of has really cool tile that reminds me of a French country style. So this piece uh, we really liked because first of all, it was that natural wood, which um, was great for such a big piece but it has cool antique like knobs and iron work. I am going to paint that a little darker, I think, just to kind of add a little bit more contrast because it's a little whitewashed right now, but I love, 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 love the storage, okay, as well as all these drawers. Like this is such a great storage piece for us we're very very excited i think this is more storage than we had in our whole last house so we're off to a good start <laughs> so i got very lucky the other day when i opened up a box i found our apple tv all my hdmi cords oh. i think see but that may be a brand new cord of what you need that is exactly what i needed so we found that see if you can leave some of it wrapped up so it stays wrapped up under there okay um and then we stopped by costco today I need to go back and do like a full shop for like a full restock for the house. But um, we grabbed a sound bar. Um, stop it, you two. <laughs> but we grabbed, we grabbed a new sound bar for the TV, so. We got it all set up, but we can't find the TV remote. So now we have to wait till we unpack anyway. But it works. I wanted to kind of clean up these boxes, move them to the side, and roll out um, the rug that we do have. It was the one that we had in the dining room, so it's not gonna be perfect, but I just kinda wanna like see. <laughs> um, I will probably get a bigger rug, but can we do that? Is that sure. good? Cool. It's already like you literally just I'm not sure we packed the remote. I don't know.
Wow, I actually really like this rug in here. So this one is from Ruggable. And I want to say it's the hazel print, but it looks really good in here. I think I might need a bigger size. Just like call it good. It's nice. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. Okay, so I am just putzing around the house. Um, Sawyer is watching TV and we're just kind of enjoying the space. We're not gonna stay here tonight. We're gonna go back to his mom's just because our bed isn't set up. So tomorrow will be the first night. But since we're here, I thought I'd power through a few boxes. I already put in like the extra electronics like his Xbox, an old DVD player to have on hand. So I'm gonna do like electronics and like speakers and things on this side. And then on this side I'll do board games and then in the middle, who knows? But there's just so much more room. So um, I found the board game box, we're gonna unload that. And then I'm sure there's some books and other things that'll end up in here. But every box I can get done means my life gets easier and unpacked faster. <laughs> so yeah, board games it is. All right, Ollie, you go sit with your dad. Okay, I found another box that I can get done. It says front room Disney VHSs and games. There you go, there's all your classic VHS's. Look. Good morning. Today is, ooh, as I grab a knife. Today is our first official day in the house. Today, sleep number comes to set up our bed, which means we can stay here. And I am so freaking excited. We brought the dogs over this morning. They're in the living room. And I am just going to be a worker bee today and start organizing and putting things away. So today's goal is I'm going to crack all of these decor boxes and just see if there's anything in there because I wrapped everything in towels and sheets and things. So I'm going to try to get things washed and then we're going to work in the bedroom and try to get that pretty set. Um, I need to get the bed, the nightstands. Those nightstands got flipped upside down in the pod. So I think I'm going to take everything out, reorganize it, and then, yeah, just try to get a few areas put away. Now we did not bring a lot of furniture with us, so I can't like fully decorate, but I can get, like I said, things put away, like bedding and towels and start working on the bathroom and the master bedroom. So it's gonna be a process, but I am so excited to nest. So I'm gonna pop some of these, see what I can find, and go shopping in my own decor. <laughs> Yesterday I thought I picked the wrong paint color. In some lights I still think Emotional I have. Crisis. It was. Well, when you're painting a whole house, I was like, so I don't, the debacle, <laughs> the debacle was between Snowbound and Alabaster. Alabaster, <gasps> Alabaster is creamier. We've learned a lot about paint colors in the last uh, 72 hours. Too much. Too much and uh, yeah. But it looks good. It'll be good once we get all of our lights and everything in here. All right. Um, so going to help me in the bedroom. <coughs> Sleep number is coming around between two and five. So I'm going to start working on that room a little bit. Do you have another one? Oh my God, I'm going to have it in a tap. You're having a moment? All right, let's go. Oh, have it better. Oh. I'm going to have you help me move that mirror and then we'll set up the bed frame. Where does the mirror go? Back in the closet. Back in the closet. So I just need help setting everything up. I'm kind of organizing for a few seconds. Um, cool. Break. Okay, we are back from lunch. <laughs> Sarah's grandma is so sweet. She brought us baked homemade ziti and it was awesome. So, uh, gotta say that is a perk by uh, with living by family. <laughs> so we're gonna get the bed kind of set up and place and see if we like the headboard in here. Um, we may update our bedroom set because we have to get one for the guest room, but we also may just love this in here so much that we may keep it. I don't know. Is it cool. Sturdy? Sturdy? Sturdy. 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 Where's the other leg? 
I don't know. I don't know why they wouldn't be together. They're all in the pod together. We might be missing a oh leg. My. The one piece of furniture we bring, we're missing the piece. <laughs> Apparently, we hadn't emptied the ice bath, which had all of my decor pillows, our sleeping pillows, and the foot. That's good. All right, the bed is made. So now we're just waiting for sleep number to get here. The bed will be put up and then I can clean out the nightstand, set up the lamps, and our room will be ready to go. It's exciting. Um. All right, sleep number is here. We're gonna have a bed here in a minute. Our bed is now set up, as you can see. We are very, very excited to sleep in our bed tonight. We haven't slept in our bed in three months. Um, actually to the day. Packed our pod on April 21st and it is now July 21st. So I would say it's well deserved. <laughs> it's glorious. Yeah. <laughs> The TV is now set up <laughs> on our makeshift dresser of two nightstands that are meant for the guest room. All right, slowly but surely, the house is coming together. Uh, Sawyer and I ran a few errands. I had to go to Home Goods and find like a few baskets and trash cans and not too many exciting things, but I just put the sheets on, so I'm gonna quickly make the bed, get ready for us to sleep the first night in our new home. Make a bed. Oh, I'm so excited. A bed is now made. Oh, I'm so excited. Just like that, the bed is made with our bedding and our pillows. It'll be a good night's sleep.